Okay, Berserk chapter 236 to 240. The sound of the sea. I guess they're close to Puck's home now. Freaking huge! <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun. Deluge Moon. I understand Isidro grew up in the mountains, so it comes as no surprise. What a child getting worked up just seeing the sea. It's just a big puddle. And sticky and stinks like salt. Right, Shirky? Right, Shirky? she is she's still definitely thinking about flora thanks what's got you so distracted god's hand is trembling god uh, are you all right oh, i guess he's still wearing the, the armor I guess if he removes it, it I guess that's a problem that's I wonder if his body has yeah cuz last <laughs> his body is pretty much ruined from the last chapters so I guess he needs to keep it on maybe eventually once they reach Pox home where he could I guess feel that it's much safer maybe then he could remove the armor god so are, are you all right my body's all not that all not all that delicate don't worry but it's not really much of a, how delicate it is when the <laughs> bones were breaking and blood bloods were already spilling all over the armor I don't think that's the the problem you really should take off the armor and rest for at least four or five more days yeah I guess he's he's, he's not feeling confident right now and until they reach the I don't know. I guess he doesn't want to be a burden. I think that's because I think he trust. He already trust. Um, Shirky and Sidro and and uh, Sir Pico to protect Casca and even Farnese. So I think um, he's most were. I think the thing that he, the reason he's not removing it is is because once he remove it, he's worried that all the drawbacks all the sa all the the pain will come back and he won't he will be somewhat um he cannot fight for or or i guess it might slow them down it might affect their it might he d he doesn't want to be the the one who'll be slowing them behind because yeah he's definitely I guess it's not just Casca now. He's now worried for everyone to be able to ho hopefully reach the home of Puck. Talisman, the talisman your mistress carved into the armor, into this armor, and Casca's necklace probably won't last, won't last forever as substitutes. Yeah, I will, yeah. I guess that's also true that about the talisman because um, they did just say it's just like around two or three days. Then eventually the monsters will, the spirits will also come back again, and uh, the brand will start acting up again. So I guess that's another, yeah, that's additional things that he will definitely worry about. I've already been laid up almost a month. We can't waste any more time. Oh, oh, so a month has passed. A month has passed already so I guess he was able to recover for a month now so that's why I thought <laughs> this was I thought this was right after they left off 
that would be that's why <laughs> I was thinking how come God gets still he's working he's walking fine perfect he's working fine like like nothing happened the pain definitely doesn't fade as much as it does when I'm fighting but still thanks to this thing our journey won't be delayed even the wound, wounds are, are a lot better thanks to your strong medicine and the bugs what you mean bugs plural <laughs> don't lump me with that chestnut round do not be negligent that armor is cursed you could end up going berserk in battle again you're so mean it appears but now I've got a reliable magic sir. <laughs> and yeah, and I forgot. Yeah, he's one of some of his hair turned white. Oh, we're both elves here. Have some sticky cling with evil airheads and airheaded <laughs> sticky cling. Ah, sticky. But I know it's trash. It was really dreadful after that battle. The armor ate into his body for days, unable to be removed. Unable to be removed. I guess it's already somewhat like pierced through his flesh, and the bleeding continued. When we finally removed it, the spark, the sharp pain made him repeatedly slip in and out of consciousness. Each time, the wounds would open up again. Would again open. No matter how robust he is, if a mere human is to exchange blows with those monsters, for that he must, as a human, he become a monster. But that time in Clifford, if something like that happened again, no, even now his survival is not guaranteed. I don't know if this is really the. This is nice. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought never again, never could I watch the sunset and be this guy. <laughs> yeah. Never again could I sleep the night through. Everyone, let us fend off the sea breeze up there for the night. Yeah, these scars. <laughs> He's lost weight. Can he still swing that sword? Looks good, what is it? Bu boil buila base steel seafood dabe. You have made progress, but you still must not push yourself. Yeah, I feel a lot better. Oh yeah, and also I guess the wound that she he took from the whore princess as well. I lie, the wounds haven't closed much on this journey. He shrivels up daily. Be thankful. In addition, if the if the sea breeze blows over him, despite it being night, he won't be able to sleep. This is my first bounty of the scene in solo. I wish to practice my art. Is it too salty? No. It just reminded me of the cuts in my mouth. This stuff's good. <laughs> there. <laughs> Even within, even within his mouth. <laughs> What's with that hair, though? Yeah, you don't look like the black swordsman now. I'm slightly white. <laughs> Man, these two. <laughs> the slightly white swordsman, the mostly black swordsman. Say what you. <laughs> Man, this is what this is nice. Cool. And so, what kind of place is your homeland anyway? And for niece is taking care of Casca, as usual. That take care, take care of your clothing makeover for now. Your equipment layout is now altered with ease of use in mind, if I may say. Not bad, you're a handy guy. This crabs and shellfish corpses, pretty good. Clammy balism, it's barbaric tasted <laughs> so that's what uh, Farnese is thinking or uh, Shirky Elf Helm a utopia amidst the sea far to the west the flowers blossom the birds sing and the elves dance the day away etc Elf Helm not Hell Elf Helm 
It's swarming, it's swarming with guys like you, right? Elf hell. <laughs> I have heard it. I have heard of it from my mistress. On a legendary island in the Western Sea, an island called Skellig. But the thing is, how? If um, if Griffith was able to find the witch, how? How come? Is it is it impossible for Griffith to find this place? So that's I think that's another problem that they might I guess eventually encounter because I think Griffith is now trying to I guess if 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 any threat um surfaces he would definitely deal with it Im immediately but I guess right now um another threat is the emperor of the Co uh the cushion so yeah but I guess he could just send some some demon war demons again, but I guess if it's a lot of elves I um, mean it's definitely in the they in the um, they did mention about the elementals that uh, it's like their ancestors, so they're definitely also very i assume that they're also very familiar with um with with magic, so I think that was um the dust of puck is just like i guess the basic thing about them <laughs> so definitely i assume that they they are they also able to maybe protect themselves so no but i guess we'll see like the forest of the spirit tree it belongs to the interstice so it is unrecorded in that area of ocean and regular humans cannot reach it but now definitely a lot of things have changed so if it ain't recorded hey so long as we have my elfin navigation beep beep beep, beep. <laughs> you mean a homing instinct like a bird it is said that many magicians live with the elves on that island oh that's that's an additional thing <laughs> but if there is a lot of magician magicians there as well show him your true power I have always wanted to see it once with my own eyes. They won't be the ones treating you like a bumpkin. Who are you to talk? <laughs> the place you live was quite nice but primitive. Kind of gross maybe. Um, Shirky. I have an earnest request to make. Should like to learn magic. <laughs> Lady for niece. Why did you just... Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, would you be willing to teach me magic? Oh man! <laughs> Whoa there! Wow, so Farney wants to become a witch. Wow, a side a side job to babies. <laughs> oh, even even Sir Pico is uh somewhat against it. I have been thinking about it ever since the trolls. My my um. Yeah, but I don't think it's a good idea for a grown-up to be a disciple of this, this little stuff. <laughs> Hold your dirty dispositions showing through, dear disciple. To be honest, my heart trembled that time so much dread and excitement at all the miracles it caused at the art called magic. Oh my, ain't you got no pride as an aristocrat? Pride, no pride alone is nothing. In this unknown world it, into which I took my first steps, I was powerless. I just hugged my knees and cowered. But when the time came that I had to protect someone, even one such as I, what gave me that courage was Casca and the magic dagger I got from you. But that is just a silver knife, so it's kind of starting to sound like flattery. Everything she say, says is exaggerated. To me, the dagger was undeli undeniably magical. Right. <laughs> Spooky eyes. Flora said, accept the great mysteries and explore the entire universe from within your world. That is the way of magic. If there is a light of reason that illuminates the unknown darkness, then please, I ask you to impart it to me. Hey, this is no show. <laughs> They said that magic is quite unmasterable if one can remember a time when they did not study it. Hmm. That is because, more than any other reason, as a person ages, they become bound by the world view of the physical world before their eyes, and those prejudices become harder to abolish. But you have been through some thoroughly dreadful experiences, 
So does that 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 does not seem to be a concern. I'm still training myself, but I can think at least at least teach the basics. Thank you so much. This is a embarrassing. <laughs> By default, that makes you my servant, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> I want a disciple obedient like that. <laughs> uh, <t> teacher, <laughs> man. Do I need different is which witch? <laughs> oh yeah, the witch hunter, a witch, a mumbo. So write the spells. Quick, first a foundation. Oh man, look at God smiling, seeing this. And this called King. Watching over them, man. Oh, this looks cool. Berserk, volume 28. Oh, who's this? Maybe another magic user. Maybe this is a new character that we will meet. Oh, we're back to Windham. Oh. Hey, let's go back, Shirky. The ocean's kind of creepy at night. I say, hey. Out for a stroll. It's definitely hard to catch any sleep. Proclaimed omens in this moonlight. Guts. You cannot sleep either? Pretty much. Why must you wear your sword? It will overtax you. Habit. I just can't relax without it. Your wounds might hurt, but even a forced rest would help. Put yourself in our shoes. I don't care much for the night sea. Hey, you listen. <laughs> When you stare out of at it, it gets to feeling like you'll be sucked to the bottom of those pitch black swells. I have never seen the sea before. My mistress spoke of it. She said it leads to the astral world. Beautiful, graceful, ominous, and dreadful. A spectacle that touches everyone's heartstrings in such a way. Such a place must be connected to the astral world, she said. All I did at the time was imagine it, but standing at the seaside like this, I, I understand what she meant for the first time. I am now in a place I don't recognize, though it's been several days since then. It feels like I've come a very long way. I've set out upon a journey without return. Oh, <laughs> and taps her, taps, taps her in the head. I'm trying too hard, you know. You only distract yourself like that, so cleverly set in your own race, worrying about everyone uh, everyone but yourself. <laughs> You're one to talk. It, I, I would never if you keep up if you keep that up now as a kid, you'll be odd before you you'll be old before your time. I bet you'd know, you know all <laughs> I bet you'd know all about that. You needn't worry. When through death we magic users part with the loved one carries a different meaning than for you of the physical world. To us who live in both worlds, that is not an end, but an emergence into a new great existence. It is never shaky, never cause for sadness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's been holding back all this time. I feel relieved in a way. Good. My eyes and nose sting from the CB. <laughs> to be honest, so do I. All over. <laughs> you are pushing yourself. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. What's her name? I forget her name. Ivan. She has a unique name. I forgot her name. Ha look how look look how fast you're grown you're grown up. Growing up. <laughs> huh? Ivalera. Hey Ivalera. 
Never would I guess her first one be an older guy like you. <laughs> Maybe some kind of father complex. <laughs> but I guess he is a lot better than the other two. One's a pushover housemaid and the other's out of the question. Oh, and the monkey at the <laughs> What are you talking about? A girl's first flowering feelings for this wild, <laughs> wild older man. <laughs> hmm, elves. I guess she could sense... Yeah, she could sense... Shirk is feeling. Eek, I'm tickled pink. It's so lovely. <laughs> what is it? Company. You. Still sur surviving, huh? I could say the same for you. This person. Who? I've been owing you lots of favors lately. Not like that's new. So far, now anyway, thanks. So what brings you here today? I doubt it's check is to check on my recovery. Don't tell me that you're that you're being here means there's an apostle nearby. Color fades from the eyes, the tongue loses its loses its taste, shivering plagues the fingertips. What? How'd you know that? Oh This is the the real state of gods. It's an omen. Oh. It's not really about his condition. Each time you wear that armor and fight as the berserker, light voice warmth, you will come to lose many things. Speaking from experience. I guess you were, yeah. That sounds about nasty enough for a cursed item from our place. Oh, sorry. No. Eh, sounds nice, alright. As always, you talk like you talk like you know everything. Thanks for the warning, but sorry that ain't gonna happen. I'll never lose myself that way again. Next time, I'll show you I can handle this thing with temperance. As he says, it will not happen again. What's with you? I won't let that happen. <laughs> You're the one who helped us at Clifford and the Forest of the Spirit Tree. He is? Don't steal my thunder. <laughs> In that respect, you were most helpful. I needed help. But begging your pardon, just what kind of the relationship did you have with my mistress? She clawed the berserker armor was... She claimed the berserker armor was a very dangerous fetish and prudently applied the seal to it. Yet she always gazed upon it somewhat longingly. Oh. Oh, it's his former. Oh, it's his former armor. He was the one who. I assume he's the one who first to wear it. And that's why he know he knows what's happening through guts. Oh, so they had, oh, man. Is not this suit of armor something you, once you worn by yourself? Oh. <laughs> you are quite shrewd as I should expect from the dear student of the witch of the spirit tree forest. Indeed, that armor is something I once wore in the distant past. When we live within the reason of time, reason of time, that means he's. We were friends, exactly like the two of you now. The odd that dwells in that armor is just a flame which never dies out. Even once contained, the coals yet smolder, even given the chance it will explode into hellfire. Even with an applied talisman, never make light of it. If you wish to continue, existing as a human that is thanks for the kind words while you're at it could you fill me in why they why the apostles attacked the old lady's mansion the hawk has one but has but one goal you should know it better than anyone he now exists beyond the reason of the physical world where no one in the mortal mort, mortal realm can threaten him it would be asking to someone 
in a story challenging the one who wrote it. <laughs> Damn, that's a <laughs> that's a, a great uh, analogy about it. It cannot be an it cannot be done. To stand and confront the hawk, one must also exist outside the story. Then the reason my mistress was all the more so as a powerful wielder of magic, he must have considered one witch to be more of an obstacle than a host of ten thousand. That's shirky and forgivable. If you continue on with your journey, you'll soon encounter the apostles again. What do you mean? And then perhaps leading them will be the hawk. Oh, I guess going to Elfhelm. Guts. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> I guess it's it also makes perfect sense that he would cuz Guts is now the biggest I guess one on one of the possible threats to Griffith. So I guess it's also my it's only a matter of time before eventually But why he didn't do it before? Why he didn't just kill Guts and Casca back then? Is if he doesn't have if he's saying that he doesn't have the same emotions or feelings as before why did it just kill them right back then where it's most it's 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 the easiest thing to do so i guess that that will play into factor as well i guess got um griffith's i guess he's still his past feelings towards guts he's coming Oh, you're losing yourself again. <laughs> it's crawling back. At least he's somewhat aware now. Guts. But I guess the problem is, once he, o once his emotions become overwhelming again, especially with Casca, or just any one of the of of the group, gets into. I guess gets into trouble or something and it's it's Griffith who made that it definitely it's going to be difficult to protect or to contend it's your fate as a man who stands in their interstice will you continue to query your own soul how however I offer this hope Elfhelm the land you seek the lord of the elves elves who sits there King Hana Fubuku you know him? I've heard that name. Who? Hinsan? He's the king of the elves, reputed in legend to have immense power. And that name is recorded not only in grimoires but also many poems and stories. That bastard never said a word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, Pucky is pretty much just like the comic relief in, <laughs> in his journey. How careless of me that the one governing Puck's homeland would be such a high elf. No way, said it ain't so. That little chestnut king couldn't be. With his powers at hand, it might be possible. For your partner. For the branded girl that I gain her mind. Oh, finally. Finally, it's been so long. Oh man, this 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 would this would mean a lot for gods. Man, we're going to get back, Casca. <laughs> the boy in the moonlight. Is that true? You have my word. Casca will come back. For real. Haha. <laughs> oh. Guts, you're happy now, but you're gonna have, s have to snatch him away. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but don't forget, that's only after you pass through the ordeal that's to befall. And more than anything, there's no guarantee your wish will be her wish. Oh, about Griffith. Yeah, I guess that's a problem. But after what Griffith does done to her, I guess we'll see. Cause yeah, I guess Griffith is like he's somewhat her 
parent and I guess her first love at the same time. Oh, who's that? I guess it's her, but younger. Man, why? <laughs> but my question is, why is she alone again? Did she run away from Farnese? Oh no, man. Farnese will be so worried now. No. No. Man. <laughs> or is this a dream? Oh, man. She, yeah, she went. She went missing again. Casca. Really? You took her to relieve herself? And she walked off as always. Not the quickest horse in the her in the herd there. Far <laughs> I don't know what to say. Maybe this is a bad idea after all. Being a witch and her babysitter makes for a full plate. <laughs> but Lady Farnese, at least wear this hood. You you will catch a cold. This is so complicated. Or have guts and the others gone at a time like this? Cass. Who's the child? Why does it look like her? Almost exactly like her. Everyone. Is something the matter? Well, that. A boy. Don't tell me it's their child. But how is that? <sighs> Maybe it's just like an attachment a mother's looking for. I guess from a child. But it looks exactly like her. But how is it possible though? Because Griffith. Because their child was eaten by the egg. And Griffith. And Griffith took the. In the body, in the body of that the child. Was uh, Griffith's vessel. Man. Who is he? We don't know. Lost perhaps. All alone out here and naked and boot to boot. Perhaps he was robbed? What the? What is this boy? I sense a mysterious odd. Oh man, don't tell me it's their child. <laughs> man. It looks exactly like Casca. Anyway, let us return to the cabin. The child will freeze out here. There's good news. You should all, all hear good news. Oh, the brand it acted up. Griffith. Did Griffith send the child? Something wrong? No, it must be my imagination. Oh, what if Griffith sent this child? Casca might be able to forly. Yes, ha King Hanafobokus is said in leg legend to be a great elf king. I think there is little doubt. Legend. That king where you're from is amazing. You smart Alec little chestnut head. <laughs> Why'd you keep quiet? A show off like you? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> he must not have known. <laughs> this is wonderful news, Scots. Oh, There's no guarantee that your wish will be her wish. But I guess the thing. I guess if that's the case, he, he could just. He. I guess she could just be. I guess maybe I guess she he could just leave her with Farnese and the others I don't know but I guess another thing is that at least she could protect herself when she goes back to her own insanity so guts yeah still she's acting like she's Farney 
they have they certainly have grown attached <laughs> what's your name where'd you come from what the change in attitude weird kid let's check around local villages tomorrow and he keeps looking at guts that's weird oh man I'm scared <laughs> what if this is just like a form that Griffith could could take and this is just maybe Griffith right now oh man the eyes the eyes is, is making me worry what if is it impossible for Griffith to change his form Why did Guts look at his dagger? <laughs> What's that all about? Hey, what? What? Don't just watch, do something maybe your armor oh I guess yeah I remember that kids are somewhat attracted to guts maybe your armor fascinates him no sweat it don't wear out anyway <laughs> hey come on oh Casca oh whoa wait a minute oh it fell almost with the blades It seems like it purposely did that. Ooh. Man, <laughs> but if this is really their child, man, that would be crazy. It's like, you know, a family, sorta. Okay. Hey Shirky, do something. Get in there. <laughs> hey, what's yours? Loves the battlefield. Again? Battlefield, man. <laughs> it, tur it turned into God's harem now. He's missing the child. Yeah. I guess he, yeah, I guess I guess he never he never learned what happened to it. The last yeah, the last I caught sight of him was at the Tower of Conviction. It was just for an inst for it was just for an instant, but I'm sure it was him. He must still be wandering around alone somewhere in the night. Oh at least he's worried about him. Man, but little do we know. They're here. Yeah, man. But isn't this the the crocodile thing from the cushion the cushion emperor? Oh, did he send the child? Familiars. Fog is acting up. Guts, what is it? Oh, it is the cushion. What? So it's definitely a child? Because I don't think they would find guts here. The others. Because the talisman, I think, is still working. Something's coming hidden in the fog. So... 
the usual rates perhaps fun it's been a while since we had you saw any action that the listeners are flawless that should not be possible it's the child it's definitely the child so it's not griffith so it's the emperor but how did you knew about the child This odd is closer to the monsters who attack the mansion of the spirit tree than to rates. It does feel like apostles. Here they come. Jump. Go. What's this frigging huge lizard? It's a dragon? No, this is a crocodile, an animal from a foreign land. land. It stood up. Crocodile's crazy. <laughs> What? It's got a damn, damn harpoon too. And in the, it's like a lot of them. Maybe a, a dozen. What in the world? This was produced by some kind of spirit dwelling in the animal. A magical life form. A kind of so-called familiar. But just who would we have trouble? Yeah. A whole swarm of them. Oh, I guess the problem is he gets his tail like over, somewhat recovering. Ivalera, you got it. Good to go. Tonight is a full moon when the the time when the power of the, of magic is most manifest. Even though this is not a church or a holy ground, I can still affix the formation of the four kings. Please buy me a little time until the completion of the spell. Full moons get my blood going too. <laughs> Farnese, please see to Casca and the child. Keep it together now, servant. Yes, ma'am. But if, if it's really the child... Oh, man. This is definitely... Dangerous. Oh, and the... Oh, man. I just thought something. If this is sent by the Cushion Emperor. And this is... Probably maybe another familiar or I guess it's if it's an apostle they would already sense it but definitely uh, Shirky noticed something odd about her uh, about him the child and what if it what if guts will have to eventually kill the child oh man <laughs> that will just that will even more um re um, worse than the, the hostility of Casca towards him. But I guess it doesn't matter. Once Casca gets her sanity back, I think uh, she'll un somewhat understand Guts. What's he making? Oh. Damn, that's how broken his fingers are. That he needed to tie it up to the sword. That's messed up, man. Oh, man, he's pushing himself. Guts, in your shape, you're still. Just leave it to the other two. I'm fine. This will be perfect for getting back into practice. <laughs> man, the full moon's also per uh, when a person's mind is most unhinged. Be extra cautious couldn't get outside if you wanted to there's so many so i think it's feeding time sweet burst open as good as this bombs full moon limited time magic blowout oh here we go serpico he flew like laundry dancing on the wind it does seem to function better than usual that uh, my style of sword play. <laughs> Insta kill. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, don't get too cocky. Bastard. It read my moves. Fear the crocodile. Nah. -uh. <laughs> You're all towards the mouth. He's got a low posture to begin with. You might as, as well be returning. <laughs> First hit hit with magic berries, then attack after it punch flinches. Too many details. I don't think you'll feel its stomach though. 
You're just a bite size. <laughs> Fine then. Yeah, just throw one in the mouth. Inside the mouth. Oh, damn. Nice. Okay, don't stop. Move. Close one. Repeat not the same mistake. <laughs> it turns into Yoda now. <laughs> You're really acting like a master today. Right, so like that. And damn, there's a lot of them. They're slower in trolls, but bigger and tougher. This could be a problem. Not for God, though. Deesh. Three at once. One swing. Man. Wow, like <laughs> he's totally recovered, but yeah. Alright. I'm worried about the child. Oh man, and they're out there. Oh man, it's always going to be down to Farnese. Man, they're busy fighting here. Shirk is casting a spell. Oh man, it's going to be down to Farnese and the child. Man, but there's a lot of them than I expected. I thought it's just like uh, 12, 12 of them. Man. I feel it. It's sniffing the scent of blood. It's aiming for a chance to be released. Don't yield your, yield your mind to it. Keep your head cool. Draw out the minimum power of the armor. Only control the pain enough to move freely. The one holding the reins is me. <laughs> oh man, Farnies, look back. You need to look back. <laughs> I guess um, Ivalera could could notice something. If I want the child's. Oh, one got got in. Yeah, here, here. One's here. What are men? That, what are the men doing? Do something, you. Turn it into a big crocodile hide. Oh, see? It went away and the child looked at it. Is it really from the cushion? Or did it, did, did it sense fear or something? What just happened? Mark to ate gepla gedula le oram. Okay, always gotta be so damn flashy. Beautiful. At night it looks like an aurora. Everyone, you are all right? Of course we are. For now at least this cabin is secure. But they are not likely the trolls who have only astral bodies. Though they are warped, their bodies are of flesh. The spiritual sensitivity, sensitivity of their astral bodies wrapped in the membrane called matter is quite dull. There is a limit to the efficacy of the bulwark against them. If they continue to advance on it eventually, in other words, take care of these things before that, that will take too long. These familiars do not possess the will power to act individually. There is sure to be a nearby spellcaster controlling the mob. If you de defeat him, where is he at? Oh, <laughs> he's inside. It's the kid. It's the kid. That's why I didn't attack them. I'm not searching. Just do it quick, miss, which is the child. Ah. So many of them. Master. Oh no. Sidro. Time out. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Still nothing. Follow the flow of the odd. Yo. <laughs> Man. And. <laughs> 
Definitely Shirky will sense it's it's coming from inside. It's the child. There. Oh no, it's oh I guess it's someone else. I thought it's a child. There behind some rocks on the shore. Oh the monks. But how did they find this place? Damn. But why is there no blood? There's no blood. And then they stop. The crocodile stop. The familiars. We won. Oh, Guts is struggling. Oh man, he's going berserk. Okay, if we're gonna beat it, now's the time. Wait, not yet. Oh, it's the... The eyes of the Emperor. These are cushion. He's here. Fog. Oh no, this is a problem. Oh, Sir Pico. Oh man, he's, he's definitely more powerful than... Ah, oh, man. He's more powerful than an ordinary apostle. Everyone move away from there now. What gives? Are there fish walking around this time? Oh. Well, at least it's not him. I thought it's the emperor. So I guess it's another one of his uh, summons or something. Oh man. But definitely Guts will be the one. Who could take this down? I don't think Sir Pico and Isidro could take it down yet. I guess Shirky maybe. And so the child is not. Oh, I'm still suspicious about the child though. But I guess the first time it it gave me. Yeah, it, it really. I guess it really. It really is showing signs that it's it's. It's a big, it is a, a big possibility that it, it's it is their child, but how come? But how is it? How is that poss possible though? Because Griffith has the body. Can he? Did he send the child or something? A part of his body <laughs> or something? But another thing is that how come the cushion found out about them, in this place? How did? And I think the only possible thing is, I guess also another thing is the child. How did the child find them? And if it's the brand, so that means that the Lisman didn't work? Or did it follow, I guess it did it follow the Skeleton King? I guess it's a possibility. Huh. That's really suspicious though. So I'm really suspicious about the child, but I think I think it's too good to be sure that it's their child. <laughs> That's such a I guess I don't know. I don't want to expect it that way. I, I'm definitely wary of the child, but it's definitely it, it definitely is. It keeps looking on guts. It, it's it's showing that. All the signs that it's their child. <laughs> it's like telling us the the readers that oh it, it, this is the child. But the thing is, if you think about it, how is that possible though? Because Griffith has the 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 the, ve the body, the vessel, and I guess that's that's a possibility. It's Griffith's some kind of magic that he could use, a part of him, or. Or what's the in some way the soul of the the soul of the child was reborn differently? Something else? I don't know, but we saw the we saw the the child transform within the behelit, the egg behelit, grow into human f adult. Turn in, turned into Griffith's physical form. Is it the soul or something? Huh, and then Shirky noticed that something 
something something uh, about his he has a, a weird odd the child and another thing is that I guess uh, the the familiar when it's when it when it look on the child it deviated it it went away so hmm definitely suspicious but I guess so far it's not doing any harm to Casca <laughs> um, what I was worried about the most is that they were busy fighting this the, the crocodiles Chirke was casting a spell um, Farnis is, is 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 at the front door trying I guess as a guard and then you're not saying that at the back maybe <laughs> maybe the child transform into a monster or something and it's already eating Casca and so that was I was thinking that was going to happen and uh, maybe Valera will notice and then but yeah it's, I guess that's not the case so yeah th th that's definitely suspicious and how it all played into this that the cushion found them how if anything i i was expecting it's going to be griffith but i guess um the skull king did mention that um he mentioned something about about uh Yeah, you, you if you continue with you, with your journey, you'll encounter the apostles again. You'll soon. <laughs> it's very soon. It's like <laughs> hours later. So I guess maybe the, the emperor also has some some kind of way of tracking them down. But what what what? But why would he look for God's group? I guess another possibility is if I guess I also thought that. What if he asked for an alliance with them <laughs> so they could fight the same enemy, Griffith? And then perhaps leading them will be the Hawk. Yeah, I guess he's saying is it's Griffith who sent. I, I don't think that's Griffiths though. With the familiars, it's we've seen that from the Cushion uh, Emperor, so it's definitely his. So how did they found them? I think that's what I'm so curious about. I guess yeah, definitely we'll learn about in the next few chapters. And yeah, um, the first two, ch the first chapters was, if anything, more than just like um, a slice of life moment, <laughs> a peaceful moment for them. And yeah at least at least we learned here that guts was has been able to rest for for a month yeah i think he mentioned guts mentioned a month Yeah, I've been already uh, almost a month. So it's a uh, few weeks, I guess. Almost a month. But it's, it's definitely take. It's still definitely not fully recovered. I guess if anything, he pushed himself to, to for them to continue the journey. But I guess another thing, good thing is, I guess a hope for Casca. I guess some something that is really specific and something that is really. I guess somewhat proven that um, King Hana Fubuku um, will be able to I guess not just maybe heal Casca but also be a part of this fight if he's that powerful and Guts would definitely need a helping uh, a strong ally with regards to this to this uh, war and I think everyone should be involved now. Especially, I think everyone will be affected by all of this. Even the elves. Um, I guess other entities, uh, maybe. So I think it's it's time for, for them to gather allies. I think this is, this may be the start of that. Where 
it's 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 now got turned to form his own his own army his own his own band of powerful i guess elves and we have shirky as a powerful mage and, and not just that they did mention that there are also tons of mages living in f helm so yeah there's also that and yeah also for for niece wanting to learn how to use magic <laughs> man i i really hope she could learn maybe just a basic spell because man she, i think she, she she definitely want to be able to i guess she she already has done a lot but i think uh it's it's possible for her to also um be able to i guess reach to the levels where she could also be able to i guess um not just defend casca but i guess even protect herself yeah man that 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 first i guess first three first two chapters was almost like a <laughs> a i guess uh, a breather chapter where um, they could i guess appreciate the sea especially for guts and i guess for shirky I mean, this is uh, somewhat a hopeful chapter, <laughs> but somewhat worrying now that I guess it's only a short, <laughs> a short, uh, a short break for 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 them. So I man, the, the child, it it it's I'm so I'm, I'm somewhat feeling happy about it, but at the same time, it's very suspicious. Because I guess if we didn't know about gr what happened to Griffith, I guess what happened to the child and the, the Behelit, yeah, definitely you. I would think this is this is their child. It somehow turned into human or something. But I don't think so though. It's definitely acting weird. So yeah, um, let me know what you think about these chapters. Which is your favorite part, or maybe th also if you would like to share your thoughts maybe feedback or things i missed in this chapters let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy watching my read through please leave a like make sure to subscribe for updates and if you want to watch my read through in the next chapters just check out the link in the description down below and it would really help support this channel a lot if you'd support my channel through patreon and shout out to my patrons for supporting this channel and thank you for watching see you in my next video have a great day goodbye